I never imagined that at 64 years old, life would still have so many surprises left for me. Each day seemed to follow the same rhythm on the farm, quiet, predictable, and filled with the kind of peace that comes with years of hard work. The sun would rise over the hills, casting its warm golden light over the fields. The animals would stir, the birds would sing, and I would find myself moving through the motions of another day. I didn't mind the routine. In fact, it had become my sanctuary. Ever since my husband passed, this farm had been my constant companion, my place of refuge. The land had a way of grounding me, reminding me of the things that truly mattered. But on this particular day, something felt different. It wasn't anything I could put my finger on, just a sense in the air, a feeling of change. Maybe it was the weather, a soft breeze that felt almost like a whisper from the past. Or maybe it was the quiet hum of the world around me. But I couldn't shake the sense that something was about to happen. My nephew, Jimmy, had been staying with me for a while now. He was in his mid-twenties, tall and strong, with the kind of easy charm that made people gravitate toward him. His presence had been a blessing in more ways than one. He helped with the heavy lifting, the work that my aging body no longer handled as easily as it once did. But more than that, his company brought life back to the farmhouse. The laughter, the shared meals, and the simple sound of another person's voice. It was something I hadn't realized I missed so much. Jimmy had come to visit after a series of changes in his own life. He'd left behind a job in the city, seeking some time away from the hustle and bustle, and I welcomed him with open arms. It had been years since I'd had anyone living with me, and I found a strange comfort in his presence. He reminded me of the days when the house was full of life, back when my husband and I worked the farm together and the future felt endless. That day, like many others, we spent the morning working side by side. The barn needed cleaning and the animals needed feeding. We moved in rhythm with each other our movements familiar and comfortable. There was something about the way Jimmy handled the work, effortlessly, almost as if he was born to it. His shirt clung to his back, damp with sweat from the late summer heat, and his hands moved with the kind of strength and precision that only comes from a lifetime of hard labor. He made everything seem so easy, and I couldn't help but admire him for it. As the sun climbed higher in the sky, we decided to take a break. We found ourselves sitting on the old wooden fence that bordered the property, the vast expanse of the fields stretching out before us. The sky was painted in brilliant shades of blue and the air smelled sweet with the scent of freshly cut hay. It was one of those moments when everything felt perfect, like the world had stopped spinning just for a second to let us breathe. Jimmy looked over at me, his eyes soft and thoughtful. You've done so much here, Aunt Sue, he said, his voice deep and sincere. I don't know how you do it, day in and day out. I smiled, a little embarrassed by the compliment. It's just life, I replied, brushing a stray lock of hair behind my ear. It's what I know. He leaned in a little closer, his arm brushing against mine. I could feel the warmth of his skin, and it sent a shiver down my spine. For a moment, we just sat there in silence, the only sound being the gentle rustling of the wind through the trees. There was something unspoken between us, 
something I couldn't quite name. I found myself looking at Jimmy in a way I hadn't before, noticing things I hadn't noticed before. The way his eyes crinkled at the corners when he smiled, the strength in his hands as they rested casually on his lap. He wasn't just my nephew anymore. He was a man full of life and energy. And suddenly, I felt a flutter in my chest that I hadn't felt in years. I pushed the thought away, feeling guilty for even thinking it. He was family after all, and this was just a quiet moment between two people who cared about each other. But still, the feeling lingered, that sense of something more, something deeper. As the days passed, that feeling didn't go away. If anything, it grew stronger. Every glance, every touch seemed to carry a new weight, a new meaning. We continued working together, but there was an unspoken tension in the air now. A simmering energy that neither of us acknowledged, but both of us felt. It was as if we were standing on the edge of something. Something dangerous and exhilarating at the same time. One evening, after a long day of work, we found ourselves sitting on the porch, watching the sunset. The sky was ablaze with colors pink, orange, and gold, and the cool breeze felt like a welcome relief after the heat of the day. Jimmy was sitting beside me, his arm draped casually over the back of the chair, and for a moment, we just sat there in comfortable silence, enjoying the beauty of the evening. I've been thinking a lot lately, Jimmy said, his voice breaking the quiet. About what? I asked, turning to look at him. About life? About what I want, where I'm going, and about you. His words hung in the air between us, heavy with meaning. I didn't know what to say, so I stayed silent, waiting for him to continue. I know this might sound strange, he said his voice soft but steady. But being here with you, it's made me realize something. I care about you, Aunt Sue, more than I probably should. My heart skipped a beat, and I felt a rush of emotions that I hadn't been prepared for. I swallowed hard, my throat suddenly dry. Jimmy, I... You don't have to say anything. He interrupted, his eyes locking with mine. I just needed you to know how I feel. For a long moment, we sat there in silence, the tension between us thick and palpable. I didn't know what to say, how to respond. The feelings I had been trying to ignore, trying to push down, were suddenly right in front of me, undeniable and impossible to contain. I don't expect anything from you, Jimmy said after a while, his voice gentle. I just wanted you to know the truth. I nodded, still unsure of what to say. My mind was racing, my heart pounding in my chest. How could this be happening? How could my own nephew, a young, vibrant man, be saying these things to me? And yet, as I looked into his eyes, I knew that I felt the same. I had been trying to deny it, to push it away, but the truth was that I had been drawn to him in a way that I couldn't explain. Jimmy, I don't know what to say. I finally stammered, my voice barely above a whisper. You don't have to say anything, he replied softly. I just wanted you to know how I feel. Whatever happens next, we'll figure it out together. His hand reached for mine, and as his fingers brushed against my skin, I felt a warmth spread through me, a sense of comfort that I hadn't felt in years. 
We sat there in silence for a long time, watching as the sun disappeared behind the hills and the sky grew darker. The only sound was the soft rustle of the wind through the trees. And in that moment, I knew that my life was about to change. In the days that followed, everything felt different. The air between us was charged with an energy that we couldn't ignore. Every touch, every glance felt more meaningful, more intense. We moved through the routines of the farm, but there was a new awareness between us, a new understanding. It was as if we had crossed a line and there was no going back. One afternoon, we were working by the apple trees, picking the last of the season's fruit. The sun was high in the sky, casting a golden light over the fields, and I could feel the heat of the day settling over me. Jimmy was standing beside me, his arms full of apples, and for a moment, I caught him looking at me. Our eyes met, and we both froze, the air between us thick with tension. Neither of us said a word, but in that moment, everything was clear. Sue, Jimmy said softly, stepping closer, his voice low and husky. I can't stop thinking about you. This is crazy, I whispered, my voice barely audible. We shouldn't be feeling this way. But we are, he replied, his eyes filled with emotion. And I don't want to fight it anymore. Before I could respond, Jimmy closed the small distance between us, gently cupping my face in his hands. His touch was soft, almost hesitant, as if he was waiting for me to pull away. But I didn't. Instead, I leaned into his touch, feeling the warmth of his skin against mine, the strength in his hands as he held me close. He kissed me then, softly at first, his lips brushing against mine in the gentlest, most tentative kiss I had ever experienced. It was like a question waiting to be answered. I felt a surge of warmth spread through me, and all at once, the world seemed to stop. Every doubt, every hesitation I had melted away, leaving only the feeling of his lips on mine, the closeness of his body, and the undeniable connection between us. We pulled apart after a moment, both of us breathless and unsure. I stared up at him, my mind spinning with the reality of what had just happened. This was Jimmy, my nephew, and yet, as I looked into his eyes, I realized that I didn't feel guilty or ashamed. I felt alive. Alive in a way I hadn't felt in years. I don't want to stop, I whispered, surprised by the intensity of my own words. Jimmy's gaze softened, and he smiled at me in a way that made my heart skip a beat. Neither do I, he said his voice filled with a quiet certainty. Over the next few days, the bond between us grew stronger. There were no grand declarations, no plans for the future, just the simple joy of being together, of sharing moments that felt special and real. We spent our days working on the farm, our hands brushing against each other, as we went about our tasks. And in the quiet moments, when the work was done and the world seemed to slow down, we would steal a kiss or hold each other close, letting the warmth of our connection fill the spaces between us. But as much as we tried to keep our feelings private, it became impossible to ignore the growing intensity between us. Every glance, every touch felt charged with something more, something deeper. We both knew that we were walking a delicate line, but neither of us wanted to step back. 
We were drawn to each other in a way that defied explanation and we couldn't deny it any longer. One evening, after a particularly long day of work, we sat on the porch together, watching the stars slowly appear in the sky. The air was cool, and Jimmy draped his arm over my shoulders, pulling me close. I rested my head against his chest, feeling the steady rise and fall of his breathing, and for a moment, everything felt perfect. I don't know what the future holds, I said softly, breaking the comfortable silence between us. But I know that I don't want to face it without you. Jimmy turned to me, his eyes filled with warmth and something I could only describe as love. He gently tilted my chin so that our eyes met, his thumb brushing lightly over my bottom lip in a way that sent shivers down my spine. I feel the same way, he murmured, his voice low and intimate. I don't care what anyone thinks. I just want to be with you. Without waiting for a response, he kissed me again, softly at first, then deeper, his lips moving against mine in a slow, sensual rhythm that made my heart race. His hand slid up to cradle the back of my head, holding me in place as his mouth explored mine. The kiss grew more passionate, more insistent, and I found myself responding in kind, pressing closer to him, wanting more. As the night went on, we stayed wrapped in each other's warmth, exchanging quiet kisses and whispered words of affection. There was no rush, no urgency, just the simple joy of being together, of sharing something that felt real and beautiful. And as I rested in his arms, I realized that I didn't need anything else. This was enough, this connection, this feeling of being loved and cared for. The following days were like something out of a dream. The world outside the farm seemed to disappear, leaving just the two of us in our little cocoon of happiness. We continued our work, but every moment felt lighter, every task a little easier, because we were doing it together. And at the end of each day, we would sit on the porch or walk through the fields, hand in hand, savoring the quiet peace that came with being close to one another. One afternoon, as we walked along the edge of the property, Jimmy stopped suddenly, pulling me into his arms. The look in his eyes was one I had come to recognize, full of affection, admiration, and something that went far beyond simple words. He leaned in, his lips brushing mine in a soft, lingering kiss, and I felt my heart swell with happiness. I love you, he whispered against my lips. His voice filled with emotion. Tears welled in my eyes as I kissed him back, my heart full to bursting. I love you too, Jimmy. From that moment on, everything changed. We were no longer just two people sharing a space, working side by side on the farm. We were something more something stronger. The love we had found in each other wasn't something fleeting or temporary. It was real, and it was ours. We knew, of course, that not everyone would understand. Our relationship wasn't conventional, and there were bound to be questions, judgments, and maybe even disapproval. But none of that mattered to us. What mattered was that we had found something special, something that brought us both joy and comfort in a world that could sometimes feel lonely and uncertain. As the days turned into weeks, we continued to build our life together on the farm. The work was hard, but we found strength in each other, 
Every morning, I would wake up to the sound of the birds singing outside our window, and Jimmy would be there beside me. His presence, a reminder of the love and connection we had found. And every evening, we would sit on the porch together, watching the sun set over the hills, our hands intertwined as we talked about the future. We didn't need much, just the simple things that made life beautiful. The sound of the wind through the trees, the feel of the earth beneath our feet, the warmth of a shared meal at the end of a long day, and of course, the love we had found in each other, the love that had brought us both back to life in ways we hadn't expected. Looking back now, I realize that life has a way of surprising you, of giving you gifts when you least expect them. I never thought that at 64, I would find myself falling in love again, especially with someone as young and full of life as Jimmy. But love doesn't follow the rules we expect it to. It finds its way into the cracks of our lives, filling the empty spaces with warmth and light. And as I sit here now, watching the sun dip below the horizon, I know that no matter what challenges we might face in the future, we will face them together. Because for the first time in a long time, I'm not alone. I have found love again, and it's more than I ever could have hoped for. The weeks turned into months, and our routine on the farm became more meaningful, more fulfilling. We would wake early, the morning dew still clinging to the grass as we prepared for the day ahead. Jimmy would laugh and joke as we worked, always finding a way to make even the hardest tasks feel light. His presence was like a spark that reignited something in me that I hadn't realized had faded. Hope. There were moments when I would catch him watching me with that same look of admiration, as if he saw something in me that I couldn't see in myself. It was a look that told me he wasn't just staying because of the farm or out of duty. He was here because he wanted to be, because he loved me. And that knowledge filled me with a kind of peace I hadn't felt in years. The world outside the farm moved on, but inside our little bubble, everything seemed to stand still. It wasn't just that we were in love, it was that we had built a life together, one rooted in mutual respect, care, and understanding. And as the seasons changed, so did we, growing stronger and more sure of the path we were walking. I knew that people might never fully understand our relationship, but I had long since stopped worrying about what others thought. This was my life, and for the first time in a long time, I was living it fully. I had found happiness again, and it didn't look like I had expected it to. But that was okay. It was better than anything I could have imagined. Jimmy and I had each other, and that was all we needed. Together, we faced each new day with gratitude for the love we had found and the life we had built. And as we continued our journey together, I knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, we would face them hand in hand with love as our guide. Life, it seemed, still had plenty of surprises left for me. And for that, I was deeply, profoundly grateful.